Hey guys, and Snow Leopard was released not that long ago, but I got it soon after it was released, and today I just thought it was time to give you my review on it. Now, let's first go over what Snow Leopard is, in case you 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 don't know. Snow Leopard is the next, well it's not the next, it's the um, currently flagshipping release of Mac OS X, the Apple operating system. Now, it just recently came out on August the 28th. Let's talk about what Apple aimed to do and what they said they wouldn't do and what they promised to do. Um, the, the, the goal of Mac OS X was basically to tune Leopard, make it better, make it faster and all that stuff. That was their goal and they said they'd refined it from installation to shutdown basically um so their goal was really to refine it iron out all the little kinks and add some update some of the features and really make it a lot faster they did that with OpenCL Grand Central which will allow you to leverage more of your processing power especially in the future when applications tend to take advantage of it so um let me talk about my thoughts and kind of give you my review um first let's talk about installation because apple said and i quote mac os 10 snow leopard is refined from installation to shutdown if apple touted that this installation was a lot more reliable and that it would be done in um, approximately 45 minutes on an average computer which was a lot faster than Leopard. Um, well I can report that it, it installed for me in about um, 35 minutes I think so so that was a, a good catch for Apple. Um, there's a new version of QuickTime, QuickTime 10, or oh, that's that's um, Red QuickTime X, but it's actually QuickTime 10. It was a big enough upgrade that they had to remove a lot of the backwards compatibility features. I just called it QuickTime 10, but because some of the uh, applications that y you may want to use um don't work under Snow Leopard. You have the option to main QuickCam 7 on your computer when you upgrade to Snow Leopard. Um, and it allows you to do that, do that now. Let's also talk about a new, uh, another feature to do with the installation. It actually upgrades in place, meaning that um, when you hit upgrade, the upgrade window, the installing Mac OS X window actually begins on your desktop. Eventually it restart but begins on your desktop and then when you've upgraded it just looks like Leopard. Everything is left the same. Um, I, should, I should point out that you also have the option to install Rosetta in during installation for some backwards compatibility. I did not do this however and every application that I run has has run flawlessly under Snow Leopard. Now um there's a wiki um regarding software that people have tested with that what is compatible under Snow Leopard and what's not. So definitely check that um Definitely check that if you're planning on upgrading. Um, the, it's, it's a really extensive wiki. Just uh, just search Snow Leopard software compatibility and you get it. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a really extensive wiki um, that can be really useful. Um, Apple brought in some features, such as 
They brought in some features, even though they said, look, this isn't a feature release. They brought in something they call Doc Expose, which you can basically click on an application and, um, and get, get Expose, but only for the Windows that, uh, uh, I should say, um, kind of group with that application. Now, it's important to point out that Apple are making this out as a new feature, and there's been some aesthetic changes, but this is not a new feature. In, in, um, in Leopard, you could hold down the F10 key while selected on an application, and that would show you all, all the windows associated with that application. The, the same functionality as Doc Expose. So let me give you my, my review in terms of speed bumps. Um, the the um, insulation was just breath breathtakingly fast, really. Um, startup is not actually that much faster even though i did a, a clean install it's it's not actually that much faster uh, um but shutdown definitely is um oh, a lot a lot faster and uh, apple apple were definitely right when they said that you also you also save some disk space apple are tapping up to seven gigs and this is because they've got rid of all the code for the um, main applications that allows them to work on power pc platforms this snow leopard doesn't support power pc so just just what they've moved to for the power pc compatibility all all that legacy code has made it faster um I'm a saved all that space. I heard that some people had saved like up to ten gigs, just worlds apart. The next, the next feature I wanted to talk about, and this is really the only feature that I've really leveraged, um, is Qu QuickTime 10. And I referenced to this before when it came to the compat compatibility, but, um. It it really is great. You've got voice recording, which I was um, waiting for in an operating system for um, longer than you can believe. Well, you've also got basic screen recording, which is um, you can upload it to YouTube. One thing that annoys me there about the screen recording is that it doesn't let you. Um, it doesn't let you select your capture area, and it also doesn't let you output in in widescreen, which is kind of ludicrous. As QuickTime now has a direct upload to YouTube feature, so they know that half the people that were using it would need the 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 widescreen functional functionality. But I, I should note that there's also direct up, direct sharing to YouTube iTunes or Mobile Me direct to QuickTime. What, what I often do though is just shoot it in QuickTime and then upload it to YouTube because for some reason the um, the QuickTime built-in uploader seems to compress the bejesus out of it. So that was my that was my um, thoughts on Snow Leopard. What do you think of Snow Leopard? Do you have it? Do you not? Do you really not care? Um, let me know your thoughts. I want to know. If you've liked this video, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.